Right, so in this presentation, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the uh, the traffic that uh, the WannaCry malware, ransomware, actually sends out over the network so that we can detect it using Snort. So in this case, here's the basic steps. First, it checks for two domains, and if they don't exist, then it'll go and download a Tor client. After that, it goes and then it scans the local network for port 445 and then tries to infect the actual nodes on the network then goes ahead and tries to scan for random uh, ip addresses across the network okay so so let's have a look at the uh, actual rules that we're going to implement so here's three here okay so three uh, rules uh, each of them looking for the character sequence SMB and then looking at a hex sequence two or three hex sequences in there and that should uh, uh, identify the the ransomware so the, the the alerts that we're firing off here we can see it's the it's from port 445 and the response coming back is giving us this, this echo response uh, part of the vulnerability Okay, so we'll just fire up the rule, the Warshark trace, and have a look. So what we should see is lots of SMB type traffic here. Okay, so the host that we're on is this address here, and it's connecting into the network, and we've seen lots of SMB type traffic later on. The main port that we're looking for is 445. So SMB runs over the top of uh, port 445. So we've seen a lot of activity in there. So let's try and pinpoint the actual, uh, the actual rule that Snort is triggering here. And what we'll do is we'll look for this port. Just apply that. Okay, so this is the connection here that is found. Okay, so let's now follow that stream. Let's see what we get. Okay, so here's SMB uh, making a request so what we want to do is to find the actual packet which contains this signature so what we're looking for is this sequence here three zeros 30 three one hex ff and then the text smb so it's 31 ff okay so there's our smb there 38 ff it's not that one it's not there so just keep scrolling down this is the payload here until we find our sequence and that it's there okay 31 ff smb let's see where we are 2b and so on okay so this is the this is identifying the uh, the the ransomware signal here for this um, echo request vulnerability for set okay so we should be able to look a bit further on to be able to see if we can see this next sequence which is 40 for C, 4A, 4A, 4C, 4A, 60, 49, 68, and so on. Okay, so this is the, the packet here that we're actually seeing in terms 
of the actual vulnerability. Okay, and as part of the sequence here, where we're exploiting the, the, the vulnerability uh, to be able to transmit the, uh, the malware across the network. Okay, so that's the connection in there. Uh, let's see if there are any other things in here. Uh, most of them are the echo response that it's firing off. And there, so that's the one that we're actually looking for in, in, in this case. Okay, so we can run the snort with our rules file, dbc.rules, and then with our pcap file. It's just running there. So what we do is we just get rid of our log file, our alert file, just so that and I'll just run that again just to see if we're getting any logs in there. Okay, and we're getting 21, which is good. And here are the rules that we're applying and we'll just have a look in alert and there it's there and we'll have a look in our alert file just to see if it's done it and there's the there's the alerts there okay so so in this way we can actually detect the one crypt as it tries to propagate across the network if we wanted to find the, the packets which had that signature on them. So we do SMB contains and then we do the hex signature. So let's find that hex signature here. And we do slash x for hex, slash x, slash x. Okay, so we can see there's the there's that echo request coming through for SMB. Okay, so you should be able to see that in this case it's the destination is four four five. That's uh, from there, and the next character is 68. And let's do the rest of the sequence after 68. And there we go. Okay, so it's found it's found that sequence that we've been looking at there. And then what we want to do is to be able to find this next sequence. And we should have found the the actual exploit. So you can see here. That's the number, if we have that number, that's the number of uh, exploits that we're seeing in, in our alert file. And then we're looking for 31FF. And uh, a destination port of, sorry, a source port of 445, which is uh, this one. OK, 
Okay, so it's coming from 445. And it's the echo response, as we see. So it's managed to get that correctly. And we just need to find 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 31 ff. Zero 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 thirty one FF. Okay, so we can actually see the two sequences. Uh, this one here, three double zeros thirty one FF, and then the character SMB. So that's here, and then the second signature is four A four C four A. 4A, 4C, 4A. Okay, so that's the data there that it's actually sending. Okay, so this specific packet is exactly the exploit that we see for the echo response for SMB. Okay, so if you want to see how WannaCry manages to distribute itself then it's in here. Okay, there's the source port 445. It's asking for a response. We send an echo request from the machine to 445 on the target, send back the response, and then we actually know that we have won a cry. Okay, so that's given you a brief introduction to the network traces that we see.